Hey guys!
Um, Star Trek Continues is crewed by a lot of wonderful people and dear friends, and Phoenix Comic Con was very gracious to bring in a lot of the cast and crew uh, for our premiere last night. And some of them came to my panel today because I told them that I have the greatest fans in the world. And so this is Casey Jasky! If you see Casey walking around the convention, thank him for wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my dearly, dearly, dear, dear friend, dearly beloved Lisa Hansel. <laughs> and her husband, Tim Vinito. Lisa and Tim uh, do all the makeup for Star Trek Continues. So they make ugly Todd look like beautiful Spock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or they make beautiful Todd look like beautiful Todd. Yeah. Um, he is beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. Inside and down. <laughs> and, uh, and Casey is one of our co-producers. What? Not as beautiful as you. <laughs> I did not pay him to say that. <laughs> but I will now. <laughs> and then, uh, and this is our beloved Megan Warner. Megan, say hi. Hi. Go down to the down or up over to the autograph area and say hello to our cast. Uh, all of our cast is here uh, and they would love to, to meet you. And I, I'm really grateful that Phoenix Comic Con brought the group here. Um, we had a fun time last night and uh, the episode is now live online for everybody to see uh, for free. So check it out online and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, real quick. A couple of uh, housekeeping things I just want to make sure to tell you so I don't forget. Um, the first one is um, a lot of you guys wrote me about my music CDs and asked me if I was going to bring some of my music CDs. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've been writing and producing music twice as long as I've been voice acting. And I've also done a lot of theme songs for anime series and I have those CDs at my table and I hope you guys will come down and flood the table after the panel. I would love for all the real celebrities to look across at the anime voice actors and go, What the hell? <laughs> I'm a superstar. How come there's so many people over there? <laughs> represent, anime fans, represent. <laughs> not kidding. I'm not kidding. I always tease, like, I'll be in the green room with some, like, real celebrity, and I'll be bragging about how you guys are so awesome. And uh, so yeah, you guys are the best, and, and I, I love to kind of throw it in your faces. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's not happening. <laughs> that would look great on you. Let me see. Come on. Oh, <gasps> cute. <laughs> so cute. You, you want to have the tail, see? So you are set. You want to see? Stand up, show everybody. You started this. What's your name? Kiana? Say hi to Kiana, everybody. Hi. <laughs> this is a picture of everyone saying hello to me. <laughs> um, also, I have something exciting to tell you uh, in regards to the music. A couple of years ago, I was doing a convention appearance in Houston, Texas, and I was going to be doing a live concert. How many of you have ever seen any of my my concerts. Anyone see any of my live concerts? I did one here, didn't I? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a while back, I think it was 1971. Anyway, um, another, another one. What? Do you another one? Yeah. Well, see, now that's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> um, I was doing this concert in Houston, Texas, and uh, the director of the convention called me ahead of time. He said, "Listen." We are really pulling out all the stops for your concert. We've got intelligent lighting that like follows you around and it's colored and like all kinds of moving lights and fog machines and HD cameras and all kinds of cool stuff. And so your concert's gonna be really great. And I started thinking, man, this would be the perfect time to shoot a live concert DVD. Oh, wait. It gets better. <laughs> so we shot this concert, and it sounded great, the audience was great, and it looked great. 
And as I was putting the concert together, if you've seen any of my concerts, you know that years ago, while we were recording the first Full Metal Alchemist, uh, I fell in love with the show, and I wanted to cosplay. I've cosplayed since I was a little kid, but I wanted to cosplay as Ed. Yeah. Now, the sensible side of my brain was like, that's foolish. <laughs> Your normal size. <laughs> but I, I started, I came up with an idea, with a story, whereby um, a grown man could be turning into an anime character. And then I asked some of the other voice actors from Full Metal if they would like to be in this with me. And we got together one weekend in Houston, Texas, and we made something called Full Metal Fantasy. How many of you have seen Full Metal Fantasy? Yeah! Look around the room. Not many. The reason for that is because it's never been available online, it's never been for sale. I've only showed it at conventions. And I show it in concert. I'll show it, and then I'll come out on stage, and I'll sit at the piano and perform the Brothers theme live. Oh, wow. Can you the Brothers theme? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll say, hey, you brother mine. I love that song so much. And so, when I was putting this concert DVD together, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be the perfect opportunity to make Full Metal Fantasy available to the fans. So the concert DVD features, it's never been available before, features Full Metal Fantasy. You can own it and, and see all the, the voice actors cosplaying as their characters. Let me give you a little preview. You watching? Here's me as Edward Elric. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yep, yep, it's, uh, it's a parody, um, and it's fun. And it's, I'll have it at the table as well. I would love for you to, to have one if you'd like to have one, and I'd love to sign it for you. Also, How um, much is it? Huh? How much is it? $85,000. <laughs> Actually, it's $20,000. Oh, and there's something else on the DVD. Long before there was an American Idol, there was a show called Star Search. Does anybody remember this person? Ed McMahon. It was the premier talent show in America. Well, most people don't know this, but I was actually a male vocalist singing challenger on Star Search in 1993.
sorry if you're ever feeling low. <laughs> Put that on and it'll make everything funny. <laughs> Um, so, uh, that, that's, I uh, wanted to let you know about that. Um, also, if you're Twitter, if you're on Twitter, I would love to invite you to follow me on Twitter. It's just at Vic Vigiana. And, um, also, is anybody following me on Twitter? Yes! Are you following me on Twitter? This is Mars. Hi! Say hi, Mars. Hi! Do not call her Jupiter. She hates that. <laughs> um, Mars, are you following me on Twitter? I'm sending you a message right now on Twitter. <laughs> I guess I get a surprise when I see you. Send a message. Hi, Mars. No, I'm writing. <laughs> you can't answer. You're on Twitter right now. Hi, Mars. I love you. Aww. We're. I'm dead. Let me be after right now. Family. Together. <laughs> You do your den at your house. <laughs> All right. And hey, let's take a picture, Mars. Come here. <laughs> Wait, we gotta make sure to get this awesome microphone. <laughs> I am so jealous. Yay! <laughs> and tweet launched. Yay, Yay Mars. Um, so follow me on Twitter, and also, you guys, uh, I would love it if you would uh, follow us on follow Star Trek Continues on Facebook. Um, uh, official, right? Official Star Trek Continues on Facebook. And uh, go to StarTrekContinues.com. Check out our website. Um, Twitter, it's at Trek Continues. Um, join us. We have fun. And we're nerds. Yeah. Yeah. So thank like you. What? So much prettier. Oh no, you're pretty, baby. <laughs> and uh, and you know what? Listen, even if you're not a Star Trek fan, check out our series because there are several uh, voice actors in the series that you'll enjoy seeing, I'm sure. And then also, probably somebody in your family is a Star Trek fan. My brother. Your dad. Did you get it? Yeah, you're getting it. Yay, Mars. Um, and. Um, Maybe your dad, maybe your mom, maybe your uncle, maybe your school teacher, maybe your neighbor. Tell them about Star Trek Continues, okay? Tell them that it picks up right when the original series ended in the 60s, and it continues. Um, it continues to fight your mission, okay? Um, is there anything else I need to tell? Okay. Can you tell us how good Herman Lustang looks in a miniskirt? No. Yeah. He doesn't look as good as you, though, my friend. Sure. Um, I do want to, do we have, we don't have any microphones in the room though, so um, you're just going to have to use your outdoor voice for questions, okay? Um, I feel like there's something I should be telling you about, I can't remember. Vic, I told you you're epic. Oh, we're getting to that. Don't I asked you on the panel about the train, and tried to tell the story. Oh my gosh, she wanted me to tell you my story. Okay, that's a perfect segue. <laughs> okay. That's one of the things I meant to tell, tell you, is new projects that I'm working on. The most exciting one... <laughs> the most exciting one is a show called Free. Now, you guys... I, I love this show so much. I'm so excited to be a part of it. I'm so excited that I actually cosplayed. Oh my god! I did it. I, I cosplayed as Ring. I did it. Mars, you want to see a picture of me as Ring? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just being Mars right now. Where is it? Where are you? Here, Mars, check it out. Where are you? What? Can you post that to Twitter too? You know, you're so cute. I'm going to show you too. <laughs> Ready, Mars? Boom. Oh my God. <laughs> Straight from Mars, everybody. Oh my God. Stop. What's that? It's embarrassing. Where's my boyfriend over here? Thank <laughs> you.